chat this is what i don't understand man like like so you got this outside event going on right now right it's saturday you know back in the day this would have been a pay-per-view it would have been exciting the whole battle rap community would have been watching it together and all this other stuff right and in essence you know it was fun now there's no pay-per-view these are literally all app events now url they're not throwing any more caffeine events all they seem to have on caffeine are light work battles that they that they pre-recorded months ago and they're dropping every once in a while. They're not even doing that anymore. They said that was going to drop every Saturday. That stopped. Um so I'm trying to understand what the U R like the URL, who are you catering to? Like are you trying to build the brand and build battle wrap up or are you just trying to float with the money you're making now on the app? It seems like because there's there's nothing to look. You guys just dropped those smack volume bat videos the other day. Battles that happened almost a month ago. You just dropped them. You know, like so these outside battles they're not going to be dropped until February uh March at this rate. You know, so and then it's like we're already on to the we already like the smack volumes everyone forgot about that. We forget, like who remembers? Then they drop on the apps periodically, and then no, there's no talk about it. Then the next event, and the next event, and the next event. And you guys don't care because it's all about that app number, whatever. That's why I canceled because unless though they start losing app subscribers, this is gonna not change. All right, this is insanity. Number one, that they make you wait so long for the app battles to get dropped, and number two, it's like we have no more live experience through the URL. It's just done. It's over. It's there's nothing there. All right. And all these selfish people uh, that are at the events to talk about, this is how it was when I first started blogging, don't you remember? Summer Madness 6, Hollow the Don versus um, Tay Rock. There wasn't going to be a pay per view. And I remember I did a blog. Go look at it. It was my third blog. I think it was my third blog ever. And I said, yo, you guys, it's, it's 2017. You always got to do pay per views. This is a huge battle. Do you know what half the community said to me? Half the community. They all said, nah, DME, y'all don't understand. We don't want pay-per-view. It's about the essence, Holmes. It's about being, there needs to be a reason for that people go to the event. They need, and they need to feel special, all right? That, the, the people that are in the building, they need to be able, if it's just a pay-per-view, it loses all that feel. This is what everyone was saying, okay? Because y'all are selfish. Because y'all can go to the events, y'all, because they're, they're in the cities that you are, all right? And... You don't care about battle rap growing as a whole. You just care about your your you just being weird and oh I'm there I'm cool. I, that's what the it's all it's all become this cool thing this high school cool cool click thing the cool table the the media that are outside are cooler than the ones that aren't outside the fans that are outside are cooler than the ones that aren't outside. Y'all are destroying this 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 community all right and you don't even see it because you're stuck in your Twitter bubble. It's a Twitter bubble. Y'all don't understand that battle rap is dying outside of that bubble. And y'all don't care because y'all are there and y'all are enjoying it because these battles are in your cities. They're, or you're doing this, you're able to travel. Not everybody's able to travel like y'all. All right? Or not everybody wants to go to the event. Oh, but then they have the, but then you guys don't even drop the app battles. You take three, four, five weeks to drop the app battles. So it loses everything. And these battlers, they're not getting enough. They're not getting, they're getting no exposure for this. At all, zero exposure. At it's like literally negative zero exposure for this, because the only people who have the app are the super, are battle rap fans, and, and so you're never gonna. They're never. These battle rappers are never gonna gain a new fan. They're never gonna gain a new fan. It is counterproductive to what the URL is doing, to what the battlers are doing, and it's just because that number, I'm sure, is high enough for Smack to justify what they're doing. The more that number grows, the more that battle rap is going to be destroyed. And I think there's going to be a breaking point where it can only go so high and then it's going to start coming back down because you're not you're not creating no new fans. All you're, do is, all you're doing is just riding off the fans that were here and that aren't, haven't been driven away by now. You know, there's, trust me, there's a lot of fans that have been driven away. If you talk to the average person on the street, all right? Let's say uh, uh, back in the day, you talk to ten people. Uh, four might not. Four might be into battle rap, or maybe even three. Four might be a stretch. Let's say you talk to ten people. Every three might be into battle rap. Now it's every one, if that. It's it's every one, if that. I'm in a unique position because I'm at work. 
All right, I, I, I talk to a lot of people here. I meet different people every single day and I always bring a battle rap to them just to, just to feel them out to see if they're into it or whatever. And I'm telling you, in the last three years, almost, I can't find anybody that watches battle rap anymore. Back in 2016, 2017, 2015, I would talk to people, they were all into it. They were all into it, all right? Instead of being like three out of 10, I, I was at a 50% clip sometimes. I, I, there'd be a 50% chance someone would be in a battle rap and who was actively watching battle rap in 2015, 16, 17, and 18. Now, I bring it up and to the, even to the same people. They don't they don't watch it no more. They don't care. They don't know how to find it. They're not gonna, like, they don't, they don't wanna, the app is, you know, that's too much for them. All right, or they're just like, it's just annoying. Um, So, I, I don't understand what we're doing anymore. Like, I don't know why you, I, I understand why URL is doing it because it's making them the money and that's all they care about. But um, honestly, I really truly believe it's gonna hurt them in the long run and not that it matters, they're getting rich off of it. But you battle rappers, man, the y'all the y'all the stars, y'all are the artists, y'all are the ones making the app what it is and y'all are literally just doing what you're doing for a small check and that's it. It's a bit, it's it's a huge scam that they're, they're playing on you guys because you guys understand, the app makes the money forever. All right, as long as it's in existence and people are subscribed to it, they're making money off that battle for life, right? You're only making money off that battle that day. They paid you a small fee for it. You get no residuals, you get no this and that. And I'm not even saying like that King Bayou guy's idea is gonna be the right idea. I don't know what he's even talking about with you guys both own it and then there's gonna be on a blockchain and then you guys can sell it. I don't know, I don't know. I'm all right. But there's got to be a different way. A different, I don't even know. I'm not even saying I have the answers for the battle rappers perspective as far as them getting paid correctly and all this, that, and the other. But as far as the community goes, it's 2023. You, these battles should be streamed live. If not on pay-per-view, on the freaking app. And that's my whole problem here. You guys have had this app since 2019. You've had four years to develop live streaming on it. It can be flipped and done tomorrow. But for some reason, you don't want to do live streaming on your app. Okay? Do you understand how, like how much how much your 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 business model your, your app subscribers would rise if you offered these app only events live? Or if you just freaking dropped them the next day? Do you understand like what but no, you ha you are so stubborn when it comes to this you, i don't the mindset it just boggles me it makes no sense you cannot explain to me in english how holding these battles for weeks makes sense for your paying customers there is no combination of words in the english language that will make sense to me you explaining to me why it's right to do that there, it doesn't make there's no there's no there's no sensibility about it. It's bad for you. It's bad for them. It's bad for the fan. It's bad for everybody. It's not good for anybody. Not you. Not them. Not us. Not it don't matter. It's not good for nobody. But yet that's the, the route y'all have decided to go. And you even said that you were thinking about changing it up. But you lie. You never did. You never changed it. You said yeah we're hearing the people and they want to we're gonna do this and you guys never did. You're still going back to the same trash you've been doing. And what happened to caffeine? What happened to caffeine? Is caffeine only gonna be for summer madness and no? And that's it? So everything's behind a paywall now with the URL? On an app where all the, by the time the event's over, all the excitement's done? I mean, it's not just y'all. Just like with the, uh, when RBE had the uh, A Ward and Big K battle, and that, that battle got canceled, they decided to not do the pay-per-view, I guess for money cost-wise, and just do the VOD. That, that, that killed the interest of that event for me. And we're, I'm just looking at it from a fan's point of view. It's not about, oh, well, no, it's just how, how it's just how we feel. You can't deny how the fans are and how they're going to look at things and and the way the structure is. Yeah, you lose you lose interest in it. Oh, it's a VOD. I got to pay for the VOD tomorrow. Eh, eh, I'm over it. Tomorrow's another day. It's Sunday. Football's on. This, that, and the other. I'm over it. You know. But when it's when something's live, that's when people want to watch and catch it. Our whole, the whole URL battle rap community now is sitting on Twitter, sitting on Twitter spaces and reading results from nothing but NBS. That's all. That's what the culture is now. And then the battles come out three weeks later and nobody, nobody talks about them. Nobody watches them. 
very small amount of people watch them and it's forgotten. All this work and everything y'all are doing makes doesn't do anything except make the URL rich because of their app subscriptions. Because they have such a loyal fan base that they're that this doesn't matter to them. No, this doesn't matter to them. Everything I'm saying right now doesn't matter to them as long as that number stays high. Right? Then they're like, DM me, you don't know what you're talking about. But in my opinion, that number doubles and quadruples if you do live streaming of your pay-per-views on that app. You can do it tomorrow. You just don't want to. For whatever reason, you don't want the paying fans to have access to these battles right away. That's a decision y'all have made. And honestly, it disgusts me. And that's why I don't have the app, bro. And I just, I'll never see these battles. I don't care. I've watched, maybe, I've been sent a couple of bootlegs here and there. You know, my I'm hearing Twerk went crazy and destroyed next. I'm hearing Av uh, bodied Trufo. I don't know. I'm hearing that uh, my verse and Hustle, Hustle was troll. Hustle, that's not even a good troll. Oh, I'm not gonna make it to my battle. You were, you were, she was lying. I don't know what's going on, Miss Hustle. She's got some kind of, you know, some kind of psych psychiatry stuff she needs to deal with. All right, some mental issues. But um, you know, she's she's very down on herself. She 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 privated her Twitter. Uh, she went in on OTFMZ for posting things about her. Uh, she just can't handle being in the limelight. I don't know what it is with her. But that battle is about to go down as we speak. And then the all these battles they're gonna drop. Um. Uh, you know, probably by Valentine's Day, hopefully, or, or a couple weeks later. And it's like no one's going to even care or remember once they hit the app. But if they were live streaming today, right now, you guys would have my subscription. You would have other people's subscriptions and you would have the whole battle rap community talking about it. Thus, bringing up the buzz and bringing up the, the, the names and bringing up everybody and giving buzz to the battle rappers and to the community and making you guys and everybody else around you richer. But you have decided you don't want to do that. You want to do what you're doing. You're comfortable with what you're doing. And hey, it's your business. You can do what you want with it. I'm just a consumer giving my opinion. Love you guys.